We're in Thailand's largest and probably its busiest city, Bangkok. We're going to experience this melting pot of culture by exploring some famous districts and gorgeous temples and trying some of the tastiest and most unique street food on the planet. Join us as we take a detour through this awesome city. But first, to show you how we got here, let's rewind a bit. Our flight started boarding 10 minutes ago. And if you watch till the end, you'll find out what our initial thoughts are about Bangkok. Okay, so quick recap. We got our tickets to Thailand. We dropped Ottawa off in Oregon. At 6 a.m. this morning, we took a plane from Portland, Seattle. Now we're in Seattle waiting for our flight to South Korea and then to Bangkok. 21 hours, 27 hours, and over 7,000 miles of traveling. Wish us luck. We just started and already our flight has been delayed twice. But we weren't just gonna sit there bored, so we walked around the entire airport. When I wake up, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. When I go out, yeah I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. If I get drunk, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who gets drunk next to you. And if I hit before our second of three flights for today, I want to tell you about this app that we're using to try and combat jet laggedness for this journey. It's called Time Shifter. Basically, you put in all of your like sleep habits. It'll tell you when to go to sleep on your flight, when to avoid light, when to avoid caffeine, which has been um, disappointing today. This is not sponsored, but hopefully this works. And if it does, we will let you know, and maybe it'll be a good resource for your next international flight. The thing I like about flights to Asia is that they give you some goodies. We got a blanket and a pillow. Plane slippers are always great. Headphones and an eye mask and some good food. Everybody's flight was delayed. I'm walking faster than you. No, you're not. Look yeah. at this lead. <laughs> now you pick it up. The flight started boarding 10 minutes ago. So we're double timing it. We made it. Out of breath. Oh my God. Uh, Thank you. We made it. Our departure is delayed due to as we are waiting for separate French passenger to board. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lady we did it. We made it. Hey. 30 hours later. <sighs>
Made it to Bangkok and that was surprisingly not as bad a travel day as I thought it would be. There were a couple delays which put us behind so I mean fingers crossed that our bags made it because we did have to sprint to get here but other than that there was really no stressors. It was kind of <laughs> the easiest travel day I think I've ever had so far. After arriving the easiest thing to do was grab a taxi. It's not the most cost efficient, but being that it was 12 a.m. and we were exhausted, we simply didn't want to try and figure out the metro system this late. Also travel tip, have cash on you either before you arrive or go to an ATM if your bank reimburses your transaction fees. You'll have to pay the tolls for the taxi drivers along the way. 75 baht total. Mm. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm already sweating, and we are exhausted. I don't think I've stopped sweating <laughs> since Korea. So, we're gonna go to bed. Ew, you can see it. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Oh. Listening. We're gonna go to bed and uh, see you guys in the morning. Initial impressions of this hostel, hotel, budget hotel, I'm not sure exactly what to call it, but it's great. I think it has everything that we need. It's definitely kind of bare bones in terms of the room, which is perfect for us. Welcome to the ultimate room tour of your life. That's it. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> It is $20 a night, $20.86 to be exact, which fits perfectly within our budget. We're trying to keep our accommodations under $25 a night, and that is including breakfast. I upgraded our reservation to include breakfast in the morning, so that's nice. That's a meal we don't have to think about, and still, 20 bucks a night. Currently at Kosan Road, and this is pretty much known as like the backpackers paradise. Mm -hmm. um, lots of bars, lots of shops, <laughs> lots of the, the devil's the lettuce dungeon. if you're into that. You look like a tourist. You are gonna get a lot of vendors coming up to approach yeah. you. Tuk Tuk rides, taxi rides. How are you, where are you from? I'm good. Where you come from, sir? Just say no and keep walking. Mm -hmm. Don't stop, keep walking. Or be like me and just stop and have a conversation with everyone. Don't that. do that, <laughs> don't do that. Kosan Road transforms into a night market, but we'll get into that later. It's like 12.30, 1 in the afternoon, and a lot of places are not open yet because this is like backpacking party central, so I'm sure a lot of people stay up till really early in the morning and then don't get up until really late. The best way we believe to get around Bangkok is by water taxi. That's where we're headed now. So if you don't want to take a taxi or a tuk-tuk and save a little bit of money, you can hop on the river taxi. And this cost us for two people 60 baht, it was 30 baht per person. And the way it works is there's different flags. So orange flag is for locals, they make stops at each pier. There's a blue flag for tourists. And this is like a neat little way to get around Bangkok. From the river you can see a lot. You'll pass the temples and the Grand Palace, and it goes down as far as the metro station and the Ferris wheel, but we only took it to Chinatown. We're trying to keep our budget for like a month around $2,000, which averages out to about $66 per day. So even with our taxi from the airport, the tolls we had to pay in the taxi, and the things that we bought today, which was breakfast, some waters, this boat ticket, we still have $20 left. So we're at $46. <laughs> $20. We were about to greatly exceed that budget, but we had no idea yet. <laughs> so the boat dropped us about half a mile away from Chinatown. So that's where we're walking now. Hopefully we'll get some street food and just kind of explore a little bit more. We 
We wandered around Chinatown before realizing we were in the quieter area without many restaurants or vendors. Eventually, we walked into the first restaurant we could find, which happened to be a gem. Well, we spent about 30 minutes kind of just stumbling through Chinatown, trying to find something to eat. I wanted a place to sit with air conditioning, so we came across this restaurant called Long Tao. It looks to be a little bit pricier. I would not say it's pricey, but pricier than uh, other restaurants that we've stopped by. They have these very peculiar booths that are like eight feet high in the air. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. We found a little gem, huh? We might have just been really hungry, but everything on the menu looked so good. Tony started off with the strawberry smoothie and we got the spicy dumplings. Yeah. Mm. Wow. That's the spicy shrimp dumpling, I think. It's like a tiny bit of heat, but it's not bad for me, so it's probably Tony probably won't be able to taste the spice, but it's like so tender and delicious. We might need to get another one of these. I'm also learning that my favorite thing to eat in Thailand is crispy pork. Whatever they're doing to crisp the skin is perfection. I ordered us both chili and garlic crispy pork belly with rice. It might have been a little spicy for Sarah. Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened? Oh my god. Remember when we bragged about how little money we spent? Well, this meal cost us 681 baht, or equivalent to $19. So that meal stretched our budget a lot, <laughs> but it was totally worth it. It was probably one of the best meals I that think really good. we're gonna have. No, we'll not, see. Not the best. It might be up there. I'm gonna Aww. put it. We're gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and say it's gonna be up there for now. It probably won't stay up there, but it's a good start. I think we've seen enough of Bangkok to form some initial impressions of it, so here's what we think so far. This is a city like none other that I have ever been to. Just the sights, the sounds, the smells. We've explored like probably three or four different pockets of the city and each of them look entirely different to one another. You would think that you're in like another country. I feel like we've explored so much already and we've only really just explored a small section of it. As we detour deeper into Bangkok, we'll discover a few unforgettable finds. Don't forget to like and subscribe and watch out for that next video. <laughs>